In this week's Tableau tip, I'm going to show you how to add a one pixel line on the dashboard. Let's start with a, with a simple example. So this is a standard kind of three chart dashboard. And what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to kind of create spacing between these charts with, uh, with lines. So in other words, I want to have a vertical or horizontal line that goes that splits the top chart from the bottom two. And then I want a vertical line that splits the two charts at the bottom. So we'll do that by adding text objects into the view. So let's start by putting a text object here in the middle, and I'm just gonna leave it blank and hit okay. When I go over to the layout section, I'm gonna set the background to kind of whatever color gray I want, maybe something like that, it doesn't really matter. All right, and now I'm gonna reduce the padding all the way down to zero. Now what I need to do is I need to edit the size of this. But notice how I can't, uh, I can't set the height. Well, that's because these things need to be in a container. So I'm gonna start by dropping a vertical container on here. And I'm gonna put my monthly superstore in there. And I'm gonna add in my, uh, my line. You see how it got much smaller now. So now that I have that line, I can go ahead and edit the height and set it to one pixel. And now that it's one pixel, if I go back over here to my layout objects and I go down to my tiled vertical, and go through all of the unnecessary containers, I can now go ahead and add some of that padding back in. So I had to set it to zero first because Tableau would give me an error message otherwise. So now I can go ahead and add my four pixels back in and there we go. Now when I do the next example, I'll show you how the error is. If I want to make the line a bit thicker, I'll just adjust, adjust the height. So if I make it, uh, you see, switch it to nine. If I make it 10 now, that actually is giving me a two pixel wide line. Okay, so I'm going to undo and set it back to one pixel. And maybe I should make it a bit darker because the line's small now, it's a bit harder to see. Maybe it doesn't need to be quite that dark. Okay, so let's maybe do something like that. Okay, great. Now what I want to be able to do, if I click over here, let me just put it in full screen mode to see if we gave it enough space. Okay, so you could increase the space, whatever. But now what I want to do is I want to be able to add a vertical line uh, between these two charts at the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and again, go back to my dashboard tab, add a text object in between these two. I'm just going to hit okay. And again, I'm not gonna be able to choose edit width because these things need to be inside of a container. So this time I'm gonna drop a horizontal container in, add my states into it, add my text box into it, and then add my top selling products into it. Okay, so now if I wanted to make this one pixel wide, I should be able to just go up here and say edit width and say one pixel, right? But Tableau doesn't like that. So it gives you this error message that says the width must be greater than the left, the total of the left and right margins. Okay, so let's go look at our margins then. So you see here, our margins on our left and our right add up to eight. But what's interesting is when I set these to zero, so let me go ahead and set them all to zero, I now can set it to one, one pixel. And let me go ahead and add my background in so we can see the, the line there. And now I can switch it back to four. So that's, that's kind of the workaround for getting Tableau to not really argue with you about that. Okay, so once you kind of have it the way you look, you can start playing around with the coloring and then maybe add in a bunch more padding. So in this case, I wanna leave the left and right where they are. And maybe I wanna increase the padding to 10 and 10 to give it a bit more space. And then I'll do the same thing here on this text box. I'm gonna uncheck again, but this time I'm gonna change the left and the right. There we go. So now when I look at my dashboard, pardon the top selling products, that doesn't look very good. Let me actually uh, change this to just my top five. So I'm going to take my set and say just my top five. Okay, and there we go. And then I need to put my actions in context. Okay, so there we go. So now we just have our top five products. So I can click on a state and my top five changes again, but I need to go back to this sheet and make sure that is added to context. That action is added to context as well. Okay, there we go, because you see how it changes. Okay, so um, yeah, so what we have now, if I view this as a full-size dashboard, you'll see here that we now have those nice little divider lines on there, 
and uh, you can space them out. You can make them as thick as you want. Uh, so if I want, if I think they're too thin now, I can go on to this one. I think I need to change the color of this one as well. And I can just make it a bit thicker. So I can now change, I can now edit the width. And notice how Tableau now has 21 in here. That's because I told it to buffer 10 on the left or give me 10 padding on the left, 10 padding on the right, and the pixel width is one. So let's say I wanna make this 23, pick 23 because I want it to be three pixels. Hit okay, and there we go. And then I could do the same thing here. I could edit the height of this one and make this one also 23. And now when we look at our dashboard, maybe those lines help us set it apart a bit better. So hopefully you found this tip helpful. Very, very simple. And, uh, but it helps you really kind of split up the view in your dashboard and uh, let the audience see these as separate components. All right, so that's it for today. Have a good day.